Hello guys, it is Rick Road here. Uh, today I'm rocking a non-wrestling related shirt, but today I'm here to talk about wrestling, as always. When don't I talk about wrestling on this channel? Um, today I'm here to talk about WWE 2K17. That's right, the next WWE video game. I don't know if I've done way too much talking about video games. Uh, I haven't been talking about the roster reveals because that's just not for me. If you guys really want to know who's on the roster, go check out other videos. I guarantee there's there's them out there. Or check out IGN.com. Now IGN.com is actually where I got all my notes for this video. Fucking page full of notes. Look at that. Fuck page full. And this is about the new features in WWE 2K17. I almost said 16. New features in 2K17. So the first feature, uh, the first features I'm going to talk about are the ones in the ladder match. Now, one of the main problems of last year's ladder matches, uh, says IGN, is that there's too much anarchy, too much mayhem. Um, so they want to tone that down a little bit. And doing that, they're making it so that you can't put the ladder anywhere in the ring. Now, this also ties in with the fact that, you know, you put the ladder up and you go up to grab it like one inch away from the belt or whatever. But, uh, I'm sorry to tell you, IGN, but you are wrong. If you haven't played the last game, it's kind of glitchy, it's kind of shitty. But in the last game, if you set up the fucking ladder, um, far away from the belt, and you reach up and you look up, the belt is right above you, the belt moves. Uh, so they're wrong with that. I. I can fuck show you proof. Belt moves, man. It doesn't seem like it doesn't make sense why it would, but it does. Swear to God, it does. I've been playing video games. I've been playing 2K17, uh, 16, f since it came out. I know what happens. The fucking belt moves. It's wrong, but I would much rather not have it the way they're gonna make it. Now I don't think I've really explained what they're gonna do. They're, you can only set the ladder up in five locations in the ring. That is in front of each set of ropes and in the center of the ring. And if you go close to any of the setup spots and you press the R, uh, L1 button, then it places, or R1. Whatever, whatever button fucking places the ladder. You click that button, if you're close to one of them, it sets it up automatically, right in the center, right next to the rope. Uh, another thing you can set up, uh, another way you can set up the ladders is probably the coolest thing about the ladders. You can finally, after fucking years of people wanting this, you can set up the ladder as a bridge from the apron to the fucking ringside barrier. So, uh, what's the latest time this has happened? Probably happened to WrestleMania. Um... Ambro, okay, here's the here's an example. Last uh, at WrestleMania 31, one of the best WrestleManias ever. Um, there was a, you know, a little bridge, uh, like a ladder bridge from the apron to the ring uh, barrier, the barrier. Uh, Luke Harper power bomb Dean Ambrose through the ladder. So that's. You know, that might be a possibility of what we can do with the ladder bridge. I hope that is, because that would be fucking awesome. Um, I cannot wait for that. And uh, the next topic is the rollout. <sighs> now, you, we could argue all day. This might be the worst. This might be the best. I think it's the worst, though. The rollout. Okay, here's what IGN says. When a member of a multi-person match takes a big burst of damage, they will be forced to roll out to ringside. Forced. Nothing should be forced in a video game. Nothing. 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 You should be able to choose. That's the point. That's what makes video games fun. You don't want to be forced to do something. So they'll be forced to roll out to ringside, where they'll rest for a while. Depending on how badly hurt they are, they'll be stuck out there until at least partially recovered. That's dumb. That is really, really, really dumb. Um, one of the main cases is what if it's a multi-man ladder match and somebody wins while you're out recovering? Um, hello? I just lost the match. What the fuck? Bad. Bad, bad, bad. Shame. Shame on you. Shame on you. Um, so that's what the role it is. Um, stupid. Really dumb. 
Next, <laughs> one of the best things in the game. Backstage slash crowd fighting. I'm thankful the announcements they made. I'm really fucking like, I'm really liking this. I cannot wait for this game to come out now. Backstage and crowd fighting is going to be the best fucking thing in this game, I can guarantee you. You can either play a separate backstage brawl match, or you can win by KO, or you can transition from any no DQ style match right into a backstage match. So that kind of shit happened in the old games. But when I say old, I don't mean like 2011, 2010, 2009. You couldn't do that. You couldn't transition from a no DQ to backstage. And here comes the pain. Yep, you could do that. And I'm so thankful I brought that back. That's fucking awesome. Oh my god. Thank you, DK. T 2K, yeah, TK, yeah, TK, yeah. Um, there's gonna be backstage exclusive OMG moments. That's always good. Now, this is one of the weirdest things. Um, crowd fighting is an any match type. That includes normal. Nigga, are you serious? Why? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. The whole point of fighting in the crowd is because there's weapons. And because, you know, you're not afraid to get counted out. So why the fuck can you do it in a normal match? B boggles my fucking mind. Um, so that is it for backstage and crowdfighting. That's pretty cool. Besides the fact that you can do crowdfighting in any match. I'm not, I'm not complaining, but it just doesn't make sense to me. And uh, from a picture I saw, you can do crowdfighting from uh, the barricade again. So, like, in 2008, for example, you used to be able to jump over the barricade and fight in that little area. So, that's pretty much the same this year, I think. I'm not sure. I, I, I couldn't tell you, but from what I've been seeing, I'm pretty sure that's how it is. You gotta jump over the barricade. Probably a certain spot in the barricade. Uh, you jump over, crowd fight. Now, one thing I'm kind of hoping they do is, considering you can break the barricade, I'm kind of hoping you could just, like, walk across so that you can just go back go into the crowd like if there's a broken barricade you can just like walk over the broken barricade to get to the crowd I'm hoping that's what it's like I don't know uh, I don't see why they wouldn't do that it's, it would just make more sense um so yeah um next thing we're talking about is taunting matters in 2k17 um <laughs> I don't understand why but taunting really matters um it's not that I don't understand why, but... Okay, I, I'm just gonna read what it says. I'm just gonna read what it says. Some taunts grant you a temporary damage boost, while others increase the rate in which you gain momentum for a time. I get the second one, I don't get the first one. So, like, if I did a taunt where it's like... Oh, then I get a damage boost. I think, I think that's what they're trying to say. But why? Like, oh, I'm getting hyped up, so now I'm going to hurt more. Okay. <laughs> uh, finding chances to taunt is easier than ever, too, since you can now taunt in much wider variety of locations. Now, when they say that, it kind of confuses me. Does this mean, like, there's, like, specific places where you can taunt? Like... Or does that just mean, like, you can go into the crowd and taunt and then run back? I don't know what it means. I really don't. I wish I did, but I don't. Um, you have a wider variety of locations. So does that mean you can, like, taunt on the top rope again? I'm kind of hoping that's what it means. Um, you could taunt on the top rope uh, in the recent games if you had a top rope finisher. But don't think... No, you can't otherwise. So does that mean that they're bringing that back? Doesn't matter to me, honestly. I don't, I don't care. I don't see what the point is. Um, one thing they should fucking bring back, but I haven't heard anything about it, is that you should be able to walk on the announce tables again. I don't know why they took that out. Did they take that out in the last few games? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you can't walk on the United States in 2K16. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure you... No, you can't. You can't. I know you can't. So they should bring that back for sure, because that's a good feature. Um, Major reversals.
Major reversals were a new addition last year. Now, if you don't know what major reversals are, it's when you miss the actual reversal, but then there's like that reversal that only was there for like a second, and if you click it, that's a major reversal. So, like, for example, I just have one in the back of my head right now. Say Seth Rollins is going for pedigree, and you didn't reverse it. There is another reversal mid move. That's a major reversal. You click it, and then you know you're out of the move. So major reversals were a new addition last year, but you seldom saw them. I don't know what the hell seldom means. I got this from IGN uh, because of how narrow the timing was. So what they're trying to say is that you didn't see them for long because the timing. Uh, you only got to see them for like a little m few milliseconds. Um, I think that's what they're trying to say. Uh, this year, the timing's a bit more forgiven, forgiven, forgiving, and does a lot more for, for you when you land one. In addition to getting a bit of an offense, offensive boost like before, a successful major reversal locks out your opponent's ability to perform reversals of their own. I don't get that. They can't reversal after you did a major reversal? For like the rest of the match, or like for a few seconds, I don't even fuck know. That's a weird thing. Um, but okay, uh, it might make sense eventually. Next and finally, chain wrestling slash submission. Chain wrestling no longer automatically happens at the beginning of a match. Thank God. Thank God. I'm atheist, but thank God. Um, chain wrestling also has a smaller role in this game. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I have not been liking chain wrestling. I'm really good at it, but I mean, I'm, I'm bored of it. Like, it happens all the time. It's bad. And also, multiple submission types. So, say you're a retro gamer, like me, and you like how you used to be able to button mash to get out of the submission or to apply the submission. That's back. Woo! That's fucking awesome. I like that one a lot. Because I fucking love the button mashing, and I love how they're you can you can either do the button mashing or you can do like the normal like whatever they do nowadays like you gotta freaking twiddle your thumb around oh I found the good spot oh he's coming at me yeah you can do that too so uh, I think there's one other thing I had talked about that wasn't even written down so I probably forgot um. No, I totally forgot. Um, <laughs> uh, but anyway, guys, I don't know. If you guys like this video, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe for more. Rick Road, signing out.